now we are in Utopia. Oh wait, Eden Prime's here. Interesting. Just to make sure I'm not on the wrong path here, wasn't Eden Prime the one where we actually had our mission on? So, I did like the agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Karen mass relay. Eden Prime's biosphere is unusually well suited for importation of Earth and native life. Its fertility drew heavy immigration and development by the systems alliance and various corporations. Today, Eden Prime's model of sustainable organized development, population is housed, space efficient arcologies, the tower with thousands of kilometers of green fields and workers. Okay. It was. Yeah, okay. We can't. We can't just simply go there, right? Maybe because we have been there. Zion is a hydrogen helium gas giant, even larger than you. Jupiter. Despite its deep gravity well and lethal radiation, it supports a small helium-3 mining industry. The reason is simple, as the only gas giant in the Utopia system, it is the only local source of fuel for Eden Prime's power stations and spaceports. Okay, Zion has 112 satellites ranging from captured asteroids to the moon of Asphodel, which is large enough to retain a thick atmosphere. Hmm. So we can't really just choose a random planet and land there, right? That's what I originally thought, though. So we can just read about them? Arcadia, an unusually large terrestrial world. Arcadia has a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and helium. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of alkaline basalts, but metal deposits are plentiful. Though several spectacular examples of columnar basalt formation offer a scenic beauty, Arcadia's hostile environment has precluded commercial development. <laughs> Day length 20 25.6 earth hours. Yeah, right. That is different as well. Xenadu. Xenadu's atmosphere is composed of methane and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of potassium with deposits of calcium. Its location in the deep cold of the outer system and its lack of any valuable resource leave little to recommend it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cold. Minus 216 degrees. Nirvana has a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. The surface is a mix of water, ice, and iron oxides with cruel volcanic plumes of potassium concentrated around the equatorial ridge. Nirvana has little of commercial or scientific interest, though a few geological research stations were constructed in the early 2160s. 
all have been shut down for years. The Alliance maintains an automated ice cracking station, which has quietly stockpiled a large amount of deuterium fuel for use by the fleet. Okay. 46 hours. <clears throat> One single day. Must be a productive day. Okay, so we can't land on any of these planets, yeah? I thought it was an option. Hmm. That's a bit sad, though. Okay, let's go to Asgard. I just hope we have unlimited fuel. <laughs> Otherwise it would be probably a bit bad. You can't land on any pla uh, planet. There's going to be some planets where you can land on, but you need to search to get a mission. Okay, so we can only land on planets that we have, I don't know, business to attend to. Okay. Loki. Loki is a small terrestrial world with little to recommend it. One hemisphere is larger co covered by an ice cap and the other by craggy basaltic highlands. Rough varied terrain suggests an ancient cataclysm caused significant damage to the world, seemingly reinforced by its unusual, unusually epileptical orbit, which reaches 6.5 AU at perigee. 7.1 AU at Apogee. You have no clue what that means. <laughs> Penetrating scans of Loki's ice cap reveal a network of crisscrossing subterranean tunnels. Because some of the tunnels were surprisingly regular in shape and size, early expeditions looked for evidence of excavation. It was concluded they formed they were formed by natural processes. Loki's thin atmosphere is mainly composed of krypton and xenon. When it appro approaches perigee, frozen sulfur trioxides and dioxides can evaporate in the clouds on the hemisphere facing Asgard. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it could, could also be that we can't do anything. Just yet. That's true. There's a planet where it's uh, with a with a picture. We can land on. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's not so smart to actually read every single planet in every single <laughs> area or sphere yet. Um. But interesting. I think we will take on the planets and then read about them whenever we actually get the chance and travel there anyways or have some business to do there otherwise it, it would just be too much so um let's go to artemis tower because i want to check on liara and oh damn Ma mastodon athens Sparta, what? <laughs> these are Greek. All these Greek names. I mean, oh, well, not not Greek, but I mean, Macedonia. Uh, well, I was part of Greek, right? Of the ancient Greek. Uh, bad. Athens, Colossus, Sparta. These were all. Ones. You want to get the Asari? Typical. <laughs> I just want to do the quest. I want to. I want to have all of the crew on the Normandy. That's just all. And can't tell if I will actually like her or not. I don't know her yet. So um. We gotta find Saren. 
But first, we travel through the whole universe <laughs> and just uh, learn about the planets. Alright. Um... Oh! Fargilus is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with an abundance of airborne hydrocarbons. You can uh, do a survey. Gas deposit surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of hexene. Okay. Was well, that helpful in any way? I don't know. But interesting. Actually, I just want to know if we if we can find the planet that we have to go to. Berlin is an enormous terrestrial planet. Do, 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 do. Okay. Survey Matriarch's writings recovered. Oh, Matriarch's writings recovered. You were scanning the planet Parolan, and a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. The salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of the Matria de Linaga's writings in its search compartment. Okay. Yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. First we can actually land okay level one pressure hazard Shajila has a very dense atmosphere of ammonia and oxygen its temperature its temperate surface is mainly composed alumina with deposits of sulfur com ways in the system have recently locked a number of unregistered vessels operating nearby Shajila has an extensive silicon-based oxygen breathing ecology. Heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica uh, dust, the respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal life forms. High speed surface winds often laden with abrasive silica dust present a hazard. In areas where the wind deposits a great deal of silica, footing can be treacherous. EVAs are discouraged. Well, should we land there? I have no clue. Let's keep it in mind for a second. Problem is, do we know on what planet she actually is? I, di I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Should I? Almost sounds like I should. Um, 
yeah, I'm I'm still figuring out like um, what planets have missions on and what actually don't. I mean, at this point, I'm still just exploring. And... Oh, we can land on Theorem. Okay. Theorem is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance, okay? Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on earth core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon based organisms indicate theorem was more habitable in the past than it is at present perhaps this explains the many prothean ruin ruins dotting the surface most of which have been looted by mining corporations mm -hmm. okay theorem Sounds interesting. Hermini. <laughs> Do you like the typical uh, Studio Ghibli movie? of the main quest, Liara? Yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to know if that's actually there. So I wanna... I will, I'll double check. Go to Artemis Tau. Explore the uncharted walls of the Artemis Tau cluster to find Liara at Sony. Okay, so we just gotta explore the uncharted worlds, the Artemis Tower cluster. That's all. Okay. That's all the information we get. So this is the Artemis Tower, and that would actually mean we ha we would have to investigate all of them. I wanna I wanna see Sparta. Um, as well before we actually go to Devonlam Tremanra a dwarf planet Nausicaa's a Ghibli movie okay I'm gonna do some research <laughs> Picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Aha. Uh -huh. That caught me by surprise. Atlas is, is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Atlas's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand with only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust choked wind. Adela's orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant on Ontamalka. My god, all these names. Due to a high rate of meteor impacts, <clears throat> exploration is highly dangerous. Nice. Okay, Adelis. Let's remember that name, Adelis. And here we have Ontamalka. Hydrogen helium gas giant. Okay. Gas deposit survey. Oh. Hydrogen. Well. And L Sage's rare element. 
Solomon survey. It scans from orbit have detected a small deposit of plutonium. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if um, that actually comes to play at some point. Like, I don't know. Will we will we be able to collect materials? We'll see. We will see. So we can land on Atlas or on the human colony here. Let's land here and check this out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I I watched uh what was its name? Oh damn, Princess Mononoke. I don't even know if that's the uh, English name of the movie. Um, and Chihiro, I think those two. But it's a bit. It's a bit ago. It's a while ago. Um. I want to bring Tally. It's so hard to decide. I would actually like to bring Rex and Garrus, but nah. Uh, hmm. I may probably switch between between those two at some point. So uh, Okay, for Therum, we're gonna bring Rex. some strange readings really strange like off the damn charts it looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone uh okay the game is really opening up right now it's um okay are you kidding me <laughs> okay, that's pretty unexpected. Oh my. Yeah, I want to see what's what's uh, what's up there. Yeah, I love the Mac. Oh God! Please do tell me that happened to you too. Come on. Oh, let's get that Changing exchange. target. I... All targets down. There was no target. Uh, probably no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. N never happened, right? Oh, the controls of this thing. 
it's like tank controls, but a bit weirder. I don't know. Gotta get used to it. Whoa. Okay, we can't go there. We can, however, go here. <laughs> First two minutes in this in this one. And it's immediately in the lava. Nice. Uh, okay, let's, let's just not repeat that. What? What's happening? Whoa! What? What the heck? Oh, that was a Geth ship. Are you kidding me? to repair the Amaco using Omnigel. Okay. All compromised. Oh! Under fire. I see. So you, we probably take damage whenever we drive right in them. It's not really a face to face kind of thing. Yeah, figured. Finally, <laughs> some action. I figured. Hmm. Okay. Probably we have to get uh, in here anyways. But, uh, let's see. Okay, that's the minigun. Oh. Okay. Rockets. The health is in the bottom left. Is it the the blue thingy? Like the blue bars? What is what is the um the fifty crowbars there? What does that mean? The fifty, 50 wrenches. Is that our omnigel? Or like our, our metagel? <laughs> or whatever it's called. That would explain a lot. Can we? Can we just hop out? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Is there a way to hop out? Let me quickly check the controls on this one. Oh, we can even zoom and we have thrusters. Are you kidding me? Okay 50 is you universal gel. It's like meta gel. Okay What? Okay 
I didn't know that was a thing. Whoa. Okay, it's, it's actually good to check the controls. <laughs> um, however, I didn't see a way to actually get out, so probably we can't. And that means that we can't go in these, or access these, so we have to go the way we actually tried to go already. What the heck? Okay, so the blue light that we see, is that actually the, uh, the Geth ship? Could be, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say here. I think they failed? Okay. Maybe we're still in combat. Somehow. But uh, yeah, that worked already better. That's more the style, yeah. <laughs> that worked a bit better. Okay. Gotta get used to it, but it's cool. to save more often yeah 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 ah now we can save again yeah I'm trying to use the uh, quick save every now and then okay don't fall down good oh wait I do have some big big red indicators screen. Is that a turret? Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Sally enjoys it. Great. <laughs> nice. Only a fool punches a Nathak in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Okay. I'm not actually sure what he's talking about, but um Okay, we can't quick save here. Anyways, let's go. Oh, that's what he means. I 
wanna see if I can take out the last turret though. Then I don't really know. Plasma containment cell. Let's shoot it. Um, probably that I have to go there again, but I mean, I tried it. Like, I don't see a way how to deal with it yet. Are these Geth ground units though? Yeah, okay, they are. Sophia, alright buddy. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for the follow again. Um, yeah, have a good night, sleep well, and uh, hopefully see you back soon. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna try to be really careful here. those red dots seems like we still have enemies in the vicinity There's really no way to get out of, of the Mako. Like, I mean, can't go in there. Hmm. That seems so weird, though. and you need to yeah I mean okay but how <laughs> how do I exit it check the controls again Thank you. 
on holstering the weapon yeah okay that would be cool if <laughs> that was actually explained there okay yeah it, it was X I mean okay It was X because I put the holster thingy there, but still. Uh, do we need tactical stuff? Well. That was quick. Why do I actually have the shotgun out? Better. <laughs> Sniper rifle, light armaturian. Oh, okay. I mean, they look kind of cool. What? Oh, you mean as a head? Okay, as always, I'll just collect some stuff and later on I will equip it. Otherwise, it's gonna be super messy. Okay, I think we gotta go into the next one there. What is he using? He's using a shotgun, right? Yeah. Okay, and Tally? What do you use? That looks like a shotgun as well. What? Recovered items? Oh, it automatically gives you the items you missed out on, right? Um... Is there a way to see what weapons they use actively? Because they're not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's space. Yeah. There. It's space. So Tally uses the shotgun. And Rex uses the shotgun as well. Okay. Interesting. It's the item for your last squad. Can you change characters? Oh, yeah, that could be as well. Yeah, use the standard movement keys to drive, spacebar triggers the Marcus jump jets, and returns you to the Normandy. Yeah, th thanks for giving me this now. <laughs> like, y you saved the universe already, but hey, I have a nice tutorial how we do it. <sighs> yeah, nice. Thanks. <laughs> Great help. <clears throat> well, well. Okay. 
Okay, one enemy is left here somewhere. Shock trooper, all right. Maybe because we did the story one land first? Yeah, pff, maybe. Okay. God. The problem is, I don't know what, what they're good at. Oh, but wait, there's a way to check it, right? If we just have a look here. I mean, they're, they're auto-leveled, which is totally fine. Um, so here we see he's good with assault rifles and shotguns. And she's good with pistols. Right? And yes, <laughs> he, un he unlocked fitness. Um, well, I mean, he looks pretty fit, right? That's absolutely true. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, originally I wanted to go for sniper rifles. So, Tally's good with pistols. Yeah. And he's actually better with assault rifles. So, let's go. And I'm using the sniper now. Okay. Um, have we been in there? I think we have been in here, but no, we haven't. No, 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 it was on the other side. Okay. Yeah, well. Actually, let's have a look. Um, we are good with pistols. Well, we got a good one already. And sniper rifles. Yeah, okay. We got the best one already. Uh, Rex is good with assault rifles. Oh, the Banshee 3 is good. The Avenger 2. Take this one. Mm. Heat absorption. Accuracy. Stability. Okay. Uh, well, why not? 
And then we go for toxin damage. Weapons for damage versus synthetics. Ooh, also good. But I really like the toxin. So far it paid off, so... I think this is fine now. way to go. What? Oh. That's actually a good hint. <clears throat> yeah. Quick save failing. Oh, damn. If I open the inventory now, ha, okay. So we loot, uh, if, if they die and we're in inside the vehicle, we actually loot them. Okay. Is there any uh, capacity on looting stuff? Hopefully not. There's a limit, yeah, but you just only chill things. Yeah, 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 right, that's true. 
Okay. Oh, I missed. That works. Whoa. Quite a big thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 